The Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary is home to one of our most adorable marine mammals, the southern sea otter. There are fewer than 3,000 of them, and they are found only along the central California coast. They struggle every day to survive in the harsh environment of the ocean, and when a mother otter must take care of a pup, the demands of daily life can be overwhelming and even life-threatening. The sea otter spends a third of its day grooming its thick coat, and it must do this in order to survive in the cold ocean because it doesn't have the blubber that the other marine mammals use to keep warm. They must eat 25% of their body weight every day, so they spend another third of their time searching for food and eating it. The final third of the otter's day is spent resting. It takes an enormous amount of energy to maintain that lush coat, find food, evade predators, mate, and raise their young. So it's detrimental to their health if they don't get the rest they require each day. You can see these amazing animals here from a safe distance. We recommend staying at least 10 kayak lengths away as demonstrated by these kayakers. This distance may not be enough, but it is less likely to disturb the otter's behavior compared to what we've been seeing on a daily basis. These kayaks are definitely not 10 kayak lengths away and are disrupting the daily patterns of the otters, as you can see, and contributing to their premature demise. Each and every one of these disturbances adds to the stress level that impacts the animal's health. Such disruptions violate the U.S. Endangered Species Act and the Marine Mammal Protection Act and subjects the violators to stiff fines and even worse. If you are one of these kayakers or paddleboarders getting too close, then you are contributing to the health problems of the otters. This kayaker shows what a proper distance looks like from the kayaker's point of view. You can see the otters clearly from this distance without disturbing them or affecting their health. If we all behave this properly, we can all visit them again in their natural homes, as can our children and future generations.